MGK taking a little bit of a stop. Let's see what he. Let's see where they stopped. MGK, why'd you guys stop? Oh, no. apparently MGK is kind of thirsty. <laughs> he needs that power thirst. Diddy Kong. Good. And M2K has just said the words, I want to win this tournament. Yeah, he definitely wants to prove that he's the best match player out there. But with so many people out here, it's going to be really hard for them to see who wins. I just find it silly that he had to tell us he wants to win. We all wanted to win M2K. You don't need to tell us that. Yeah, it's been a while since I've heard M2K say those words. Usually he's just really Ooh. quiet about it. Oh, okay. So here was the deal. He gave DSF. Oh, he bought Austin a drink too. What a good sport, man. Yeah. And me being a good sport, I actually opened M2K's drink. Alex Strife has just opened M2K's drink. This could be the contributing factor to M2K's win in this tournament. <laughs> M2K drinking balls now. And Alex Strife for opening it. Yes! Well, back to actually the counter pick choice, counter character choice for Azza. He's seen to try, he's trying to not only is he trying to pick a character to counter Meta Knight and to counter um, MGK, he's also trying to get into his mind. Knowing that after the previous match he had with uh, Diddy, which was uh, Ninja Link, that Ninja Link actually um, right. basically broke his spirit. Yeah. Okay, here we go. On Smashville. Yeah. It's a pretty good choice. Oh, sit on the floor. Pretty good stage for a Diddy. Whoa. Pretty much even so far. Uh oh. This is a really debated matchup. A lot of people say it's even. A lot of people say Meta Knight wins. So far, the Diddy's here have been doing a, a number on the Meta Knights, so I mean... Well, the thing is, is that Diddy has a great gimping ability. Not only that, if you do, if, it depends on the player. If you have an aggressive Meta Knight go after a Diddy, they're not going to be able to do any offense. Because of that lack of offense, they can't get those bananas out. Without those banana peels, they're, not, they're pretty much useless. Not to say it's a bad thing, not to say that they're right. useless, but at the same time, they're, they're hard to use. Right. I actually found from watching these Diddy vs. Meta Knight matches today, I think a pretty big plus pro side to this matchup is that Diddy's maneuverability allows him to get inside Meta Knight. I've seen a lot of times when a Diddy predicts that a Meta Knight will use a ground attack like forward to a down smash, they'll jump over in forward air or back air. And I don't think a lot of characters can do that. At the same time, though, you got to give that to the character, uh, players themselves. Oh, yeah, that too. be able to read that. You can have a Diddy that can do all these fancy moves, and if he doesn't know how to predict their movement, then he's not going to do anything. Right. And that's a testament to people like Thumbs Way Up, Mitchell Link, and even as of right now, being able to read anything and adapt. Right. Uh-oh. It's a lot of fun watching Ozzy. I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but come back. I mean, I played Meta Knight, or wow, I played Mewtwo King pretty much all night and all day yesterday. And it's extremely hard when you're above him or off the stage. So props to Ozzy for being able to come back. Good DI by Mewtwo King. Lives the forward throw. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. 175. Diddy does have a hard time killing, but his bananas help him score kills, so... Ozzy's just ridiculous with these combos. Takes the lead with a basically 40% combo. What were you going to say, Alex? I was going to say, Ozzy is definitely showing us that he is a master of all characters. Coming out with a Diddy is rarely seen just by Ozzy himself, and he just gives him! Wow. What a great move by Ozzy, definitely getting, definitely getting into his head and getting into this match back. And that's risky, I mean, if Mewtwo can't chosen the shuttle loop there. That would have been it. But maybe as uh oh, game over. Game oh. Now it's one one. As it making a crucial mistake, very rare by Azin. Doesn't seem to care very much though, I mean. Azin does some pretty unorthodox stuff, makes some mistakes sometimes, but really you can never count him out. Look at Mewtwo King just juggling Azin close to the ground because as there's three frames of landing lag, I believe, every time he lands, so Mewtwo King just stays really close to the ground and juggles with dash attack and neutral airs. Since neutral air is a multi-hit move, it can really... He's really almost perfected that technique. And Mewtwo oh, and M2K SD's time the last If the people, if the people watching this could have seen his face, they would have been either very happy or very sad. Me, personally, I was sad. He looked sad. Yeah, he's 
Or despite him using Meta Knight, he is a good player and he should be respected as such. Maybe. Oh, this last, this is the last match, yeah. so whoever wins this. Whoever wins this goes on to play Ninja Lane. MTK losing this, this will be his, if he loses this, this will be his worst tournament um, already since Brawl first began. Actually, yeah, pretty much. He's Another better. thing too, M2K used to be really passionate in melee. Whenever he used to lose, he used to go home and study the matchup a lot, come back and a lot better. Um, it seems that with Brawl, whenever he hates a matchup or gets bored with it, he doesn't try to improve anymore. He just kind of shrugs it off and says, this matchup is impossible. Or It's a typical M2K thing, but I'd really like him to get more passionate about the game like he was in melee. But Actually, I, I agree I agree with you in that sentiment, but I also have to say that once he was being, well, he, before he played Ninja Link, he was playing pretty much every Diddy in the freaking um, venue today, trying to learn the matchup. He wants to beat Ninja Link. He wants to, oh, play okay. him. He wants to prove that he can beat him. I right, think okay. though, I think though he, he really shows it nowadays. But we'll see what happens at this point. I think Nin now M2K is going to have to shoot counterpick stage. He's probably going to counterpick something that is going to take him. Asking for help from the crowd. See, let's see where he goes. Taking his time. This is a crucial match right here. Yeah, wherever he picks, he has to pick something that's not flat. He can't pick a flat stage. He can't. That's absolutely impossible. You can't have a flat stage with Diddy or else you're going to have some trouble. Right. Should we go on Rainbow Cruise, Brinstar, um, Jungle Japes, or even... Brinstar would be real good, but Lucario would probably live a long time there, though, and be able to... I heard somebody mention on Norfair, but Mitsuki doesn't want to go there. Yeah, so it's too gay. <laughs> Did I just see Rainbow Cruise? Let's see where he goes. He's Don't cool. choose Final DM 2K. He does like Delfino a lot. DSF is telling him that he beat Oz and Diddy Kong on FD. But um, I think DSF is more composed when fighting Diddy Kong than Mewtwo King, so. I like the camaraderie of the group, though. All laughing and joking, knowing Definitely. that even though it's for money, they're all still good friends. Which is right. Good. And these are, I mean, if you ask 90% of people, I guarantee who are the top three players, B2 Keen, Oz, and DSF, and they're all here right now. Yes. Um, now they've all played each other today, I think, besides M2 Keen and DSF. And here we go on Battlefield. Look at that pressure by M2 Keen. He's not coming back. Oh, and there he is. Oh, Great gimp by M2 Keen. Let's see if Azen can come up with a game of his own. Remember, Diddy has that down air which can kill at 50% with Meta Knight. Looking at all the Diddy says, it's making me really want to pick him up. <laughs> he's just, I think he's really, I mean, people say it's just a novelty effect that people don't know how to fight Diddy, but I mean. I don't think so. I think people actually are. People are learning how to fight him. I think he's just a good character. I think people are going to have to admit sooner or later that he's, I don't know, a really good character. MTK now mounting an offensive, trying to jack up some damage to get that lead a little bit farther ahead. Good move by Oz and over being to the middle of the stage. He's in the air. MTK does not want him to land. Oz and takes control again. Gets his bananas out. Here we go. Or throws it. Takes up the bananas. For being down... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. For being down so much in the beginning, getting gimped at 37, he's really, I mean, he put brought down a lot of damage with taking not that much That's on his own. That's what he's known for, that damage. And he takes a lot of damage even, but Hazen still has that percentage disadvantage. I'm just kidding. Just, he's not why I'm on the stage. Yeah, but don't be afraid of... That forward B, I believe, that's the one that actually grabs his face. As in, oh, this is not looking good for Azen. Oh, this is not good. Let's see if Azen can pull something out like he always does. Another thing I want to say, if M2K wins this and does manage to beat Ninja Link, I'm going to go ahead and predict that he's going to uh, beat DSF. He's very, very good against top tiers. Yeah, if it's top tiers, he'll know them at the back of his hand. We'll see what happens here. He's playing really well, like I said, doing that yeah, ground level juggle. Also, trying to make sure Diddy does not take out those bananas. Those are the most crucial part of this game. Slow reaction time, Mitsuki. I don't think he should have gotten grabbed there. There we go. Forward air out of shield. A big part of fighting Diddy is learning how to react to 
a banana hitting your shield and then using a move out of shield. Definitely, because as soon as they hit you, they're going to go for a grab because the first thing you're going to do is block it. Right. Good shit. Yeah, Diddy player, you have to know how to master uh, their Music King could have had it there. But again, as it is a different type of Diddy, he's actually um, more towards the typical side of a Diddy. And well, that's... Lake is just something else. So we're going to see what happens here. M2K almost come up with the win. He's trying to end it now. He wants to go off the ninja lane. Nice force smash out of shield. Caught him in the air with that. Very good, very good. Now, if we see a comeback here, this will be perhaps the most ridiculous comeback ever. I mean, 160. One hit is death right here. I don't see him coming back from this. I don't see him coming back either, but... Yep, good game. Him, but Just again. like that, all of H2IL is out of the tournament. They didn't even get top three. Very surprising, actually. H2IL is I mean, actually I'm surprised they lost in their home state. Good home job, Mitchell. Wow.